Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about series and parallel resistors. So let's say you have this circuit. There's a bunch of resistors in series, right? So just all like connected in line. What if you disconnected this voltage source and then just measured using a meter the resistance of all of this? Right? It's the same as if you took of some equivalent resistance from here to here. So what is the equivalent resistance of a bunch of resistors in series? Let's try it out. Okay, so if we if we call this current I, that's the same as right, like if I label all of these, right, these are all the same, right? This is they're literally the same current kind of going around like this. Right, so I'll call this current I. But the voltage, I will label it, how about like this, V1, V2. I'm purposely labeling them so that Ohm's law is positive. Like you don't have to, but just for convenience. Right, so Ohm's law is positive IR, right? Positive IR. So now let's try KCL. Let's go KCL clockwise. So let's start here. So from here to here, that's negative, negative source voltage. And then let's continue going this way. So positive, positive, positive. The way I labeled them, they're all positive. Okay, so that's KCL. And then the way I labeled them, Ohm's law, right? Positive V equals positive IR. V equals positive IR. I labeled all of them so that Ohm's law is positive. So then if I Right, so for V1 positive I R for V2 positive I R, etc. They're all the way I label them. Okay, so then if we we can factor out, I'm gonna move this to the other side and then factor out I. Okay, and then if we take a look at this one, there's not much going right. I R. Okay, now look at this and look at this. Look at, right, look. So the equivalent resistance for resistors in series, you just add them. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. You see a bunch of resistors in series, the equivalent resistance, add them up. Okay, now resistors in parallel, different arrangement, right? So they're hooked up in parallel. So Already, like this voltage is the same as this voltage, is the same as this voltage, right? But the current would be different. Right? So if you say like this current I1, I2, I3, I4, and then this current here, right, just I. Just call it I. Well, that's the source voltage, right? So, the source current. Okay, so let's go. And then again, voltage is positive this way. So for each one of these, Ohm's law is positive. 
positive IR, just like our last example. Let's go KCL. How about at node A? Okay, so let's say, let's say um, going out of the node is positive. So that means, right, this is the source current, just like this one. This one. So that would be negative. And then the rest of them all positive. Right, so that's KCL. And then let's bring in Ohm's law. for each. So for I1, it's positive V over R, right, because V I R. So then I1 equals V, and this is the source voltage right here, is V over R. And then for R2, Two, like this, etc. For R three, for R four, equals zero. Let's factor a little bit. I'm going to move this to the other side, and then let's factor V S. And then let's just move this in the denominator. So just move it to the other side. Just take the reciprocal, right? Reciprocal. And then for this one, V equals I R. Right, now look at this. Look at this. This is the equivalent resistance for parallel resistors. Okay, so 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, and then take the reciprocal. Okay, let's do some examples on the next video. See you.